Hello again, welcome back to another Inventor 2018 video from Excitec. This time we're looking at helping you ensure that the data in your parts list in an Inventor drawing is always accurate. Specifically, we're looking at some iLogic code to help identify whether your users have overridden the bill of materials data in the parts list and done a local override. And then the iLogic code will give you the option of removing the overrides automatically and bringing back the master bond data. But before we look at this iLogic code, let's just take a look at the manual process. What do I mean by a parts list override? If you've been using Inventor for a while, you'll know that if I go into a parts list, this data is coming straight from the assembly bill of materials. Um, we can look directly at the assembly bill of materials by right-clicking on the parts list and going to the assembly data here. This is where we should make edits, but you'll find many users, probably more inexperienced inventor users, might double click on the parts list and make edits locally to the parts list here. For instance, I might want to change the way that this, the description for this particular part. The minute I do that, um, it's gonna highlight blue. That's telling me there's probably something wrong with what I'm doing. And if I right click, I've assigned a static value and then anything I change in the bill of materials will no longer be reflected in this parts list. However, it's not immediately obvious unless you double click on the parts list as to whether any overrides have been done or not. So this is just a simple bit of code to remove any of these local overrides, the equivalent of unticking static value and reinstating the bomb data here. So all I'm going to do is just make a few changes that I shouldn't have made. I'm going to select a few cells, put them on static values, make a few changes here so that I can see. Um, and hit OK on that. Um, I've actually got a parts list on a second sheet here as well, so if I go onto this second sheet, um, I might be tempted as a user to fill in some of this description information, probably with something a bit more sensible than this, but this is of course bad practice. This data should be filled in in the assembly, but let's just say we've done some bad practice here. As an addition, um, if you've been using Inventor for a while, you might be aware of custom parts and parts lists. So if I right click and say insert custom part, we can create um, new data in here, which doesn't relate to an Inventor part. So I could have some, uh, some Loctite in here or something. Um, you get the idea. Um, and we, we want to obviously keep this data because this is a legitimate way of working with Inventor as well. So if I say OK, we've got some overrides here. Um, you can see this rogue data in here. And we've also got some overrides here. So now if we uh, try our iLogic code to find and remove any parts list overrides, I'll just run this. And it will tell me how many overridden cells I have in all the parts lists in all the sheets of this drawing and give me the option of removing the parts list overrides. So I can say no. Well, first thing I could do is cancel completely out and do nothing about it. Or I can run it again. I can say no, I don't want to automatically reinstate the bond data, in which case it will edit the parts list automatically for me and allow me to make whatever changes I see fit in here. Um, or if I run it again, I'll say yes to automatically remove any of those overrides. So if I say yes, you should see down here that data has been reinstated. No more blue cells. If I go into the second sheet, you can see that we've exposed the fact that we're actually missing bomb data here again. So all those nasty overrides I added have been deleted and we need to follow the right practice and right click and edit the bill of materials here in order to put the data in. Okay, and when it comes to our custom part, that's still there, it's still, still fine, we haven't deleted that. Let's just take a very brief look at the iLogic code. All it's doing is simply looping through all of the inventor sheets, finding all the parts lists in the, in the drawing sheets, and then here's the critical line of code. It's saying if the, st if the cell in the parts list is static, then um, we're, we're storing the cell, and then later on we're having the option of uh, removing the static override on each cell that has been overridden. Okay, so hopefully this might be able to be added to you know a nice toolbox of CAD manager tools to ensure compliance of your inventor drawings, try and ease the burden of making sure 
your drawings are as accurate as possible. Hope you find some use for it. Thanks a lot for checking it out.